So I recently had the pleasure of interviewing multiple people from the Castle Crasher community and I bet you will know some of the names in this video but I can't do it sat in this office and don't forget you can check out everyone's channels in the description below but with that being said I believe our first guest is here. Hi I'm Fleming. I started getting into Castle Crashers around 2017. So yeah, is it flaming or flaming? Because I've heard some people call you flaming and that's what I have always referred to you as, but I've also heard some people say flaming. So would you like to state for everyone what it finally is? I usually go by either, but I like flaming more. What would you say is your favorite challenge run you've ever done? Mm, there's a lot of them. I I think it's, it's probably gotta be no stat. No stat insane? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So, going on from that, what would be the hardest challenge run you've ever done? The hardest? Mm -hmm. I have to remember all the challenge runs I've done. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot, lot of them. Yeah. I believe you've done no stat, no healing. Because I know worst have. Uh, you've done that one too, haven't you? Yeah, I've done no stat, no potions. Yeah. That, that's that's crazy. I, I want to say it's no hit necromancer, but I did that in under an hour. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, you probably, I mean, I think you are, you're one of the most well-known Castle Crusher YouTubers, or really someone within the community, alongside people like Worst and The Nasty One. And I know you guys play and do a lot together. Um, did you guys know each other before YouTube and Castle Crushers, or did you all meet through doing Castle Crushers and content creation? We met through Castle Crashers. That's mostly it. through the CC wiki, I believe. But yeah, speaking of Worst, obviously you recently made the troll mod alongside Worst. Um, you like to talk about that because I think it almost took you, was it a year to make? It was over a year to make. We took a, quite a few breaks. It was, it was a lot of work. Uh, what was your favorite part of, of making that mod or your favorite level that you did? I really liked making the paint man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> The Pac-Man minigame. Yeah, oh, the, oh dude, that Pac-Man minigame, it caught me so off guard. That was like the first time I ever tried making an actual game in a game. Yeah. <laughs> I also really liked making the solar eclipse. So, oh, really yeah, the, to ter the Terraria Easter egg. Uh, what was the hardest part of the mod to make, would you say? Just hardest coding or... Because I know you did make that custom level, the uh, one on the moon. So just overall, the, the hardest part of the mod. The hardest part, let me think. Yeah. Adding the FBI tank boss in Lava World. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of stuff that went into, like, trying to make it work in Castle Crashers instead of Alien Hominid. Yeah. Is that, so would that say that was the hardest or at least one of the hardest? It was one of the hardest. Yeah. There's there's a lot of different. Yeah, pretty much most of really it. Hard. So going on to more generic questions that I'm asking for everyone to compare answers at the end. What would you say is your favorite character in Cast Crushers? Well, it's definitely got to be Hattie. I really like his tears animation. I don't know yeah. why. I yeah. just really like it. So what would you say is your least favorite character? It, it might be Bear or any of the Tornado characters because um, back when I played on Xbox, they mm -hmm. would like break my Y button Oh, <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> would you say that Bear is like one of the more advanced skills to learn yes yeah very um so what you say is your favorite boss fight of the game i like the industrial boss there's a lot of fun stuff you can do in that the industry uh, the uh, industrial prince we with the machine yes. yeah so what you say is your least favorite boss least favorite boss has got to be ice king <laughs> yeah so what would be your favorite animal orb? monkey face Ooh. i like the i like the extra drops so what would be your least favorite animal orb? Either Sherbert or Dragon Head. So it'd be your favorite level or favorite area of the game. I like the marsh a lot. The marsh. We had that one earlier. And as desert. Well. Oh. Well, the desert the most. The desert. How come the desert? It's just hard, especially in four player. Yeah. What would be your least favorite area? Might be Flooded Temple. So, it's just two waves of fishmen. Yeah, that is all of my questions. So thank you very, very much for coming on and talking to me. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Yep, glad to talk. Thank you so much. Flaming, one of the best Castle Crusher players of all time. But before we meet our next guest, let's quickly cut to the commercials. And welcome back. I hope you didn't get two unskippable ads. Anyway, let's meet our next guest. Um, hello. Yeah, I'm a uh, Christian from Dunderheads. Uh... I mean, uh, we play a lot of behemoth games. Primarily, we do a lot of uh, pit people. 
So from what I understand, Dunderheads is a group channel, but for you specifically, you mostly prioritize in pit people. So what is it with pit people? Because what I found interesting is looking at the behemoth games, they've always done 2D side scrollers, but pit people is like the only game that is vastly different to every other game they've ever done. It, what, what about pit people that made you so interested in pursuing that game specifically? I, so to, first off with like what you said earlier, like I, one of my favorite things about behemoth is that every game they do is still so different like yeah while they are side scrollers like you know battle block and castle crashers are vastly different um but pit people it uh my favorite genre of game is turn-based strategy uh i think that there's a lack of very specific a lack of turn-based strategy games that aren't just off-brand xcom yeah. uh so you know i thought it was a very interesting take on it with it it's also being you know designed to be for people learning turn-based strategies almost because it's so simple my favorite part isn't even just like the the pvp um like the pvp is cool and i like doing it for the community and stuff because i think that there's a, a obviously a lack of community stuff in that game yeah. um but my yeah. favorite part of it is a hundred percent like the rpg element because i think it's a very very interesting take on like co-op rpg turn-based yeah so when it comes to tournaments i believe you host your own sometimes then you do collabs with other people so recently it was collab with the poop tournament which is separate to you is that correct yes um i want to specify because a lot of people get this mixed up so dunderets have their own tournaments it's yeah. like the dh blank tees you know we what we do with pit people typically is the dh ppt you know dunderets pit people tournaments yeah. and then there's poop we just collab a lot whenever we do pit people tournaments because i mean we we both pretty much carry the pit people community yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't hurt to to just come together and make some cool stuff I mean, through a Jeb alone from doing Behemoth content, I've been able to work with the Behemoth themselves multiple times, yeah. and that's been that was actually my fun. next question. I was going oh, to move on. Oh, sorry. No, <laughs> no, no. You can ask. Great, me. Say, yeah, great, 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 great. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you've also got with the Behemoth, haven't you? Which how, how did how did you go about getting the Behemoth to get involved in these tournaments? So um, we I've collabed with them twice. The first time was the ultimate pit people tournament is what we called it i think we, we did it august of 2023 it was a while ago yeah. it was maybe might have been july and jeb uh because poop is an official uh behemoth like group it's it's their pit people competitive group so oh, right what so jeb behemoth had... recognized that as yeah yeah well actually like... behemoth made it jeb just oh. got the position jeb apparently had a connection with the behemoth because of that you know so we were talking and i'm like what if you know we made like a really big tournament because i saw that like the last big tournament wasn't like wasn't since probably a year after pit people was released so you know we're like hey what if you sponsored this tournament so then we did the ultimate pit people tournament like half a year later the behemoth contacted uh jeb and i and they're like hey we're gonna do like an official tournament like you know they they sponsored like the last one but this is an official one and they're like you guys are like you know faces of the competitive pit people so would you guys like to you know help host it and everything and i you know, proceeded to not be able to focus on any of my college classes after that because <laughs> yeah. I was so, so <laughs> excited. excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to ask you, what possessed you to make a video calculating the force of the dip <laughs> because of Castle Crashers? <laughs> oh my god. I, I didn't expect that question. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I thought about that video. Um, God, what did possess me? I, so I was sitting there um, and I'm like really close with uh, an old uh, physics high school teacher. Yeah. Um, and we were talking one time and as nerdy as it is, we were talking about math and stuff. And I was just sitting there thinking, wait, hold on. Cause I'm also a big game theory fan. And I started thinking yeah. about uh, very over the top, you know, calculating the science behind this and this. I'm like, I, I know the science behind you know Behind, like yeah, what, what i need awesome. to answer this <laughs> exactly what if i just did that uh so i i did it uh actually i did that entire video in one night yeah because i wasn't able to sleep that um, that's i found that when when you when you think when you've got like that that light bulb moment of i need to yeah. make this video it, it's the most yeah. you will focus so hard on it, and it, it yeah basically the conclusion is that the deer probably has the strongest 
internal organs out of anything oh, ever to you exist. You already know. <laughs> and I got so many comments on that video about, but Christian, you didn't calculate it like flying. that scene whenever it's flying by the moon, <laughs> and I'm like, die. I don't think you. Okay. I don't think you need to calculate that. <laughs> So, for Cast Crashers Orny, what would you say is your favorite character, favorite playable character? Green Knight. For... Green Knight? So I, I, so, I know that they're trash. I'm so uh -huh. aware, okay? Um, but they've become my favorite character, uh, not only after years of just playing them without knowing that they were so bad, but this massive bit between the entire channel where... Green Knight's the best and Red Knight's the worst because Red Knight is just a Danish flag. Um, and Green Knight is so bad that we just... Uh, he's so bad that you can't help him. so bad him. that we just love him. That leads me to my next question. Yeah. What is your least favorite character? Red Knight, you already know. Oh. You already know. <laughs> oh, this is like a hot take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You might re redeem yourself though because what's your favorite boss in Cast Crushers? Necromancer. Yeah. Um, okay, that's fair. Very. I very feel like that's going to be the general answer for a lot of people. Yeah. What is your uh, least favorite boss? Um, corn, corn yeah, boss. Gone. So, what's your favorite animal? Of? I think it would be uh, anything but seahorse. For the life of me, the name, uh, uh, the like install guy. ball. Yeah, install ball. ball. Mainly because the PTSD. I that is it. That is another hot take. <laughs> is, yeah. That is uh, probably one of the arguably one of the worst animal in the game. But what would be your least favorite animal? And there is only one correct answer here. I I assume it's the seahorse. It is the seahorse. <laughs> but what is yeah. your least favorite? Honestly, it is probably the seahorse because it's so useless. You redeemed, dude. you redeemed yourself. Yeah. I'll tell you what, favorite so character useless. Green Knight. I can forgive it now. I can forgive it. <laughs> What would be your favorite level? And this includes, it could be everything. It could be the music. It could be the enemies, the boss, just overall favorite level for whatever reason. Overall, I think the first half of the Castle Crashers is more memorable than the second I agree. half. Yeah. I just, I hate the desert, dude. Yeah. I think well, it's a horrible start. Yeah. I think You're it's talking like to the right start. guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have this under the desert. My favorite place would probably be the... You know, going into the groom fight, yeah. I guess that would be a pretty Wedding good... Wedding crush, yeah. And I guess my final question then is your least favorite level. And I think I know the answer. Desert is pretty high, pretty high up there, mm -hmm. yeah. I'd have to say, I I think desert would be my least. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, that's all of my questions. Um, thank you so much for coming on and talking to me. Uh, uh, thanks for having me. No, yeah, it's always it's been great. Been very cool. Y'all uh, watching, you should subscribe to Recordless right now, or I will find you. <laughs> that is a, that is a threat. <laughs> that is a threat. <laughs> and just to clarify, that wasn't a threat. But before we meet our next guest, let's quickly cut to the commercials. And welcome back. I hope you're not using an ad blocker, or else this would kind of be awkward. But anyway. Let's meet our next guest. Um, what's up guys, it's Monks, and I, I like crashing the castles. So, Monks, uh, when did you start playing Castle Crushers? Um, I mean, I started playing quite a while ago. I would say I've been playing on and off for like, I don't know, definitely years, maybe seven years or so. Yeah. What made you want You're to good. start doing Castle Crushers content? I don't know, I was just really enjoying the game at the time. I mean, I still am, but... I just thought I could, you know, help some people out. Yeah. And maybe make an audience and stuff. Yeah. So your main is the cone head, or at least I believe your main is the cone head. Um, yes. Is there a reason behind the cone head? Honestly, I just like how he looks. Yeah. I don't even think he's that good. I'd say I mainly play the cone head just when I'm making videos. Yeah. Or if I'm just want, because he's one of my only like level 99s. Yeah. So yeah. And my only level 99 right now is the peasant, and that's. <laughs> He's got yeah. no, no stats. Zero stats. One big discussion point that is brought up all the time is about Castle Crashers 2. And there seems to be almost split. It seems to be some people want it and some people don't. And even in the content creation space, you do have people who don't want to have a Castle Crashers 2. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? I personally, I would love a Castle Crashers 2. I feel like it would just be nice to have, you know, something more than just like the regular campaign. And I know there is like modded, you know, there's mods and stuff, but mm. I feel like it'd just be really nice to have like a whole new game. I think actually most people who would want a second game would want it to be mostly the same. 
and just add yeah, new I levels, agree. new enemies, new characters, new ma all that stuff. I don't think they need to do anything as drastic as like what they did with Alien Hominid HD 2 Invasion, like that drastic of a change. Because I know there is someone in the community, uh, I'll flash his channel up, I can't remember it right now. He's making his own custom fan-made Castle Crashers oh, game. Yeah, I've actually, is it Castle Crashers like RE? I, I, I'm not sure. I, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up on the, on the video now. Um, but yeah, I see he's made two trailers and it looks so good for considering that I assume it's made by one person. Um, yeah, I think, I think I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. And it's got really like, cool. there's like skill. He's made his own skill trees and everything. Like that is what I would want from a cast crushes too. But obviously, you know, same from the behemoth. So what would be your favorite character in cast crushes? I would say probably the conehead. So what would be your least favorite character? My least favorite character is probably i'm gonna have to say the king the reason i know he's like super unique his magic is cool mm. and stuff but it's it's just not that good i don't know yeah yeah the scale it's the scaling that's the issue yeah i think the max it goes to is like 16 or like 14 or yeah. something yeah which is not that much so what would be your favorite boss fight i think maybe the painter's one of my favorite bosses yeah i feel like he's my favorite like i just recently learned that he can drop like healing potions in insane mode yeah and that was like that was a game changer so that i like him really a lot useful. more yeah so going on from that what would be your least favorite boss fight i feel like the corn boss might be my least favorite yeah the corn boss is like rancid to fight yeah. in like insane mode especially so what would be your favorite animal orb? i actually like pelter because i know pelter is like definitely not that good but yeah it's just kind of, it's like nice. It's like Pelter's like trying to help you out. He's throwing snowballs. He's trying his best, you know? Yeah. So then what will be your least favorite animal orb? I feel like a lot of people are saying seahorse, but <laughs> yeah. I I have some respect for him, okay? Ooh, I feel like he's overrated. He gives you two agility and he's he's cute, I guess. No. <laughs> I would have to strong disagree on the cute one, but you know, I, I maybe yeah. if I get very drunk and squint my eyes, I could maybe see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay i don't i don't mean to offend like anyone in your community but you know the little frog that like oh, licks up the coins yeah i actually I, is it frogler i i call him frongus and that's like the kind of yeah i know i don't even I, I always forget his i don't even know his real name anymore i think it's froglet yeah or, froglet, I don't even sound, know. froglet sounds really i just i've just called him frongus for so long now that that is what i know him as so what would be your favorite level slash area I actually, I, I'm a pretty big fan of like the Sandcastle. Ooh, Sandcastle is an like, interesting one. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I, I like using it as examples in my videos for like, if I'm talking about beefies because there's like, there's beefies right off the bat, you know? What would be your least favorite level? Definitely Full Moon Full is moon. my least favorite. So I guess I've got one last question. When will you review the alien? Probably after the blue night, I think. <laughs> Every single time you do a character review, I, there's, there's so many comments about alien, alien, alien. I know. I, I feel I, like it's become almost a bit of a meme on your channel that you that you haven't reviewed. Maybe I'll alien. just save it for last. Yeah, I, I honestly, if you did, I think you'd make a lot of people mad, but it'd be an almost like a nice grand finale. So yeah, that is all of my questions. So thank you so much, Monks, for coming on and talking to me. Yeah, yeah. thanks for inviting me. Man, I hope this video comes out before the alien review. Anyway, before we can meet our next guest, let's quickly cut to the ads. And welcome back. Hello, I am Meme Cuisine, most popularly known for playing back off Barbarian, unironically. So yeah, as you were saying, you're the current world record holder for back off Barbarian with your 36 minutes and 37 second world record. Just how do you get that good at back off Barbarian? Well, honestly, it kind of has to do with like actually taking the initiative to play yeah. the game mode because it's just structured as a little mini game, you know, yeah. and you have to put a lot of time and like you have to be willing to actually like get good i guess yeah. like i don't want to i don't want to narrow it down to just like oh get good like I don't, <laughs> I don't like that you just have to have the motive and just learn slowly learn because everything's a lot everything is very confusing at first glance you know the wonky controls yeah how everything works like the it RNG. does take a lot yeah the rng too did you when you initially started doing it were you naturally just good at any any way and you improved upon it or did you so play it to get that good i'd say I wasn't really naturally decent, but 
uh, when I was first like starting the game, I first got the game in 2019 when it came to PlayStation 4. Yeah. And uh, I was kind of like a, kind of a noob back then, so I was still like learning pretty much everything. But yeah. then I saw like the 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 back off barbarian mini game, and sometimes there would just be moments where I would be like bored, and I would just choose it, and I would keep playing it. And then over time, I just like kept going and going and going. Uh, one of my most remarkable or at least my one of my first like high scores was like 12 minutes and as far as i knew like no one else was getting those kinds of times so i was like i should just keep trying though it's like already high enough yeah i was gonna ask so with your current world record is that something you was always aiming for you did you know you wanted to get world record or did it just kind of happen i never really thought of the world record like that until the most recent one because before 36 37 there was a uh, 25 I can't believe I'm forgetting. I think it's like 25, 20 something. And then I was kind of determined to just reaching the 30 minute mark, which is like an insane goal for me. Because yeah. not only did I like pass the 25 minute record, I extended it by like 11 minutes. Which no which one's is like ever done. <laughs> but I think at that point I was like satisfied. I, like I lost, I don't want to say I lost a desire to like try and beat it, but I feel like it's like high enough to where I can like relax. Yeah, is that with your current 36 37 yeah yeah it's like i think it's high enough i'm not big in the backup barbarian space but going off your, off your answers i doubt there is but is there even anyone out there who is there anyone to compete with or anyone who could even take that world record um well that's a good question because i've played the mode with like a lot of people 99 percent of the time it's for the achievement but like there are like those rare cases where I'll just like play with someone because they're like, oh, I want to play with you. And like sometimes we'll do like, uh, we'll go for the co-op record, which is uh, somewhere in the seven minute mi uh, range. For solo, getting that uh, world record is like, it's you, basically a one man mission. Yeah, of course. You're pretty safe. I mean, it's safe, but at the same time, I'm more than willing to like give you everything I know so you can beat that world record. But well, you, you play in controller for backup barring, uh, correct? I do, but. Yeah. I think over the last few months I've tried keyboard a little more because I heard it's like someone compared it to Osu. I've never played Osu, but it's like they recommended that I try keyboard and I was like, it's okay, but I much pre I much better prefer the controller, yeah. especially the uh, PlayStation controller. So you would say that controller is better than keyboard for backup variant, in your opinion? Not only not only the controller, but like the specific controller. I feel it's most comfortable for me on the PlayStation 4 controller. The buttons right. are like perfectly sized and spaced where I can like rotate uh, my finger like around the buttons to navigate. And aside, like keyboard only has one input, whereas on the controller you have three inputs, the joystick, the D-pad and the buttons. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was, was going to ask that. I saw in your hand cam video when you did the hand cam to show how you played. You, when you got cornered, you started spinning the left analog stick. Is, is, is that why? Is it because it gives you more inputs to kind of get away? yes because compared to like keyboard you you can only do so much with spamming on those like four little buttons yeah. or the the four keys on the controller though you have like the joystick you can just like spin it around and you can button match which i find gives like a lot more uh variety to spam and like potentially get yourself out faster yeah. and safer what would you say is your favorite character in cast crushes my favorite character undoubtedly is the beekeeper no he's like a pretty low tier character his magic is not great it's goofy but it's not great yeah so going on from that what would be your least favorite character oh my least favorite character uh i'm gonna i'm gonna be nice and say uh industrialist only because kind of used a little too much i was yeah. i was a big hater of the saw duo back then i've kind of eased off now also um, open face green is ugly yeah. That's it. <laughs> so what would be your favorite boss fight? I know a lot of people like Painter, I do too, but mm -hmm. I think like the fight itself, probably the Conehead Groom. What would be your least favorite boss fight? Corn boss on PS3. Only because the roll glitch does not exist on PS3. Oh. So like you actually have to kill him. So what would be your favorite animal orb? My favorite orb for the longest was by Polar Bear. Um so what would be your least favorite animal orb? Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, my least favorite animal orb, Hawkster. Hawkster? For the, hear me out on this one. Mm -hmm. This kind of has to do with industrialist too. Okay. And you can maybe, you can probably think, you can probably wonder why. But there's this one, one little, uh, 
thing you can do a hawkster in these forests, which I'm not uh, going to elaborate. I know, I know. You see, you see the, the issue. So then what would be your favorite level? Uh, my favorite area would probably be Marsh and Snow World. Industrial Castle is nice too. I like those three, like in general. I think I'll add in Wizard Castle too. So what would be your least favorite level? My least favorite? Oh, oh Full Moon. Without a doubt. Full Moon, that's fair. Very, very fair. Full Moon is just too long, too unenjoyable. It's just not fun. And that is all of my questions. So is there anything you'd like to say? Final, final message? Consider Back Off Barbarian. I'm just saying in general. Like yeah. to people watching, it's a valid mode. It gets a lot of hate, but if you put your mind to it and you practice, you could beat your high score. And let's see if anyone can beat his world record. Good luck. I'll be waiting. If anyone actually beats that world record, that's insane. But you know the draw by now, let's cut to the ads. And welcome back to anyone using an ad blocker, you never left. But let's introduce our next guest. Hi, I'm The Worst. I made The Worst campaign and I have a YouTube channel. So when it comes to like your channel, I feel like you've literally been in the Cast Crashers community for the longest time. Um, how long have you just been in the community and, and just, you know, being active, even if it isn't uploading videos? I've known about the community since like 2018, 2019. I'm not so active anymore. But yeah. I've been around for a while. Because I've noticed on your channel that you, you do post some other things outside of Cast Crashes. Like you got some Geometry Dash, but you do a lot of uh, Burnout 3. Ooh, uh, well, it's a it's a nostalgic thing. And also, it's one of my favorite games as well. It's a theme with my favorite games. Like Castle Crashers and Burnout 3 were one of the first games I remember playing. Yeah. It turns out old games are the best games. Yeah, yeah, before the era of Battle Passes. So you've done a lot of challenges. What is the hardest challenge run you have ever done? Uh, no stat, no potion, insane mode. Probably the hardest and is also my favorite. Ooh, I've seen clips of it, but I've not watched it all. Just what was your experience with the desert on that? Uh, well, the only part that I really hated was the ant lions. It was super annoying. The first three waves are so easy, but also so easy to take like 200 damage and restart. Yeah. But after that, I actually think it's really fun. You just got to get over the hurdle. Yeah. And like, you have to be super consistent. That's why I, so, I like it so much. But out of all the challenge runs, if you remember, what was the most fun or the one that you had the most fun doing? Oh, uh, the one with the, the Necromancer, the no potions of every character. That was pretty fun. Yeah. And then what would have been the easiest, or I guess, if you've got, you know, just a general idea, what, what was the easiest challenge runs you've done? No potions, only arrow spamming. That's one. Yeah. So like you said in your introduction, you have done your worst campaign as well as helped on the troll mod. How much did you do on the troll mod? Was it 50 50 or was it mostly flaming? You helped out there because I know you were busy with your own campaign. It's a little complicated. So, in the beginning, the troll mod was first being developed. I didn't know how to do anything. Like, flaming did everything. Like, King Boss Fight, an older mod, he did everything. And there's like older mods before that. Yeah. But then, like, once the file modding, being able to actually mod the game was going on, I was interested. Like, what if like, maybe I can make custom levels? Because flaming showed me that he was actually like able to edit the levels which was new yeah so then like i started working on stove castle but then once flaming worked up to like around the catfish or as fields like he did like almost all of like the main stuff yeah once it got to that point he stopped working on it as much and like i was working on my worst campaign i was kind of a little tunnel vision on the worst campaign because i was i was worried that the troll mod main campaign would be done before I was done. Yeah. That was the motivation. It turns out that did not happen. I finished the worst campaign, the troll mod, still I had to like, the second half of the campaign was still not polished up at all. And yeah. Flaming, he lost almost all of his motivation to work on the project. For some reason in online, when we would play that together, we would always desync, no matter what. We never fixed it, and I think after that, Flaming was just over. I was really passionate about the drains because it's completely based off of Left 4 Dead and he's crazy about Left 4 Dead. But then it just didn't work at all in online and uh, that was so bad and he just he lost motivation. Just branching off from that, Flaming would, he would make most of like the main points of the Troll Mod campaign or like the Barbarian Boss catfish, yeah. like like most ideas. Like I would also be contributing ideas. That was like my role before I was actually able to, to develop things. Yeah. But then once the mods started being more mature, 
I polished everything out because there's so many parts where I needed like some touch-ups or balancings or like uh, bees exploding. They do like 800 damage per projectile. Yeah. That's crazy. Then by the end of development, I was done with the worst campaign. The only thing Flaming did, he actually worked on the worst campaign. Stove Castle, the boss at the end, he does that spinning move. I wasn't good enough to be able to make that on my own. Flaming yeah. made that. All right. Other than that, I made everything. Yeah. I think. So I'm going to ask you some generic questions about your cast crashes now. So these are, I've asked everyone, and it's to compare everyone's answers at the end. All right. In cast crashes, what is your favorite character? Uh, the civilian. That's your uh, that's your icon. Is there a, is there a story behind that as to why he's your favorite and your you know your character? He uh, he looks cool. I like that he's just a guy. That's yeah. the appeal. He's just a random guy. Also, I I like the arrow magic. You like arrow it's good rain? To use. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a reason to why you, you like arrow rain? Just the design or the way it works? Or? The hitbox is huge. It's it's like a mistake. Where in the Xbox in the original version. It looked different and it was acted to the hitbox, but in the, every other version, the hitbox is way bigger than it actually looks like. That's just a small thing. I really like how each segment, like, it takes its time to come out. So you can you use it and then, like, it's still going for a little bit and it, that can be useful. Yeah. So going on from that, what would be your least favorite character? Uh, I don't like the tornadoes. You don't like the tornadoes? It's one of the tornado characters. They're the the ones you use to show off if you know like, yeah. all about them and like there's so many little tricks but i just don't care for any of that yeah what is your favorite boss fight painter that's a boss but also the necromancer but that's just a bunch of enemies yeah and then your least favorite boss catfish maybe the pipistrello not yeah. sure it's it's not the corn boss or the ice king you're surprised yeah they're the two they're the two pretty much i think they're the only two i've ever had <laughs> uh is there a reason to why catfish or, or pipistrello I like Pipistrello if I had to choose. Catfish isn't so bad. It's just that they're so the the fight is the same. Yeah. The exact same time. And is just bugged. What would be your favorite animal orb to use? Oh monkey face. Monkey face. Underrated. Yeah. It gives you lots of meat. Yeah. And then what would be your least favorite animal orb to use? Maybe ones that like attack on their own. I don't like them. Like Rami, the install ball. Yeah. He, he like he's he's the worst one out of the bunch because he hits enemies in the air and then they just fall what would be your favorite level slash area of the game i like the desert Ooh, that is that is uh would you like to explain so like from the start the airlines not the good part the scarabs it's all about consistency like it's only heavyweight juggles in the, the scarabs the beetles it's a it's really hard to not just get hit by the beetles because they attack so quickly yeah and if if you're good you can just juggle the the world guards forever but it yeah. can just do that easily yeah so it's really rewarding if you destroy the desert and also no other level is like it it's yeah. very unique and i like that so what would be your least favorite level or area of the game medusa's lair mm. sucks any specific reason fish take forever mm -hmm. snakes do like 600 damage and the music sucks <laughs> but that is all of the questions that i have today thank you so much worst and i'll catch you in a later one all right i'm afraid to do the worst campaign on insane but before we can do that let's hear from our ads and welcome back let's introduce our next guest hi there i'm astrid of h astrid on youtube.com forward slash at h astrid underscore swag we actually first met when you hosted the back of barbarians tournament with dunderheads how did that go did did it go to plan did as an organizer of the event i think it went perfectly like for how i wanted it um i'm working on the video for it like right now yeah did you know that meme cuisine was going to be in it and be the absolute monster that he was i didn't know he was going to be in it uh, of course, like I had reached out to everyone, but I didn't expect him to say yes, but I did expect him to win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What would you say is your favorite character in Castle Crushes? It's, it's Brute, easily. Brute, like, yeah. no contest, it's Brute. Yeah, probably one of the best designs in the game. So what would be your least favorite character? Um, it, it's Hattie. That's it. Ooh, would you like to explain? Uh, I, I've never seen like a character in a video game with such a special ability. His magic is so bad. All of it or specific, one specific magic? Um, 
the the heavy magic i would say is, is just awful yeah. i really like the the design of mm -hmm. his aerial heavy magic the one where he throws the emerald but i i can't do it yeah <laughs> the heavy magic is just it's just too bad yeah um so going on from that what would you say is your favorite boss fight of the game necromancer yeah. if you want like a more interesting answer i would probably say it's medusa i i really like the the designs of the little snakes mm -hmm. um i think they're very cute and i like that uh when you kill her and she turns to stone you can't complete the level until you break the statue and get the weapon yeah so what would be your least favorite boss ice king Fair. yeah so what would be your favorite animal orb uh the troll pet he looks cool and i like the idea of a pet that's useless except that he heals you 11 health like every 10 seconds every 10 it's, yeah that's yeah. nothing and then your least favorite animal orb I've never really thought about that. I uh, I I would probably just off the top of my head say like the seahorse. Yep. Thank you. I, I no, like I, agree. I like the niche idea of, of very niche useful in the in the Medusa's lair. Like that's it. Yeah. If not that, I would probably say it's like Pazzo or something. The little orange dog. What would be your favorite area of the game? So favorite level or favorite area? I love like industrial castle. That's mm. always been my favorite level, but if I had to pick like a whole area, it would be the, um, oh shoot, which part of the map is that? It's like after Industrial Castle, after the church, that's my favorite part Cyclops of Cyclops is uh, Cyclops Fortress? Yeah. So then what would be your least favorite level? My least favorite is, mm -hmm. you know what? It's probably like the the church crash or wedding crash. Wedding crash. I, I like how it's funny in insane mode because the groom can just one shot you because it's funny. Yeah, is it is it's it the so annoying? Is it the boss fight that ruins it for you, the the groom or just the level as a whole? Uh, I think the level as a whole is kind of unoriginal. I do really like all the food on the tables. That's oh, like yeah. the only time that was done, but I, it just doesn't have any redeeming qualities. Um, but that is all the questions that I have. Thank you so much for talking to me today. So, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for talking to me and uh, have a nice resty night. You as well. And welcome back. Let's introduce our next guest. Hey, my name is the Nasty One, and I make Castle Crashers videos. Most of my videos are about like funny challenge runs I come up with, or just basic stuff on Castle Crashers and guides and things, or things I find interesting. I'd say out of every YouTuber or content creator I've talked to, you definitely have the most variety. But going on about your challenge runs, probably the most impressive thing I've actually seen of anyone is your locked level one no start insane. Is that probably the hardest challenge run you've ever done? Well, thank you. I uh, I appreciate all that. But uh, locked level one was definitely one of them. I'd say that one's up there with uh, Steve enemies 4.0, but enemies have a 100% crit chance. Um, the, <laughs> the hardest challenge I've ever done was actually uh, the nasty one's ultimate challenge. And I can't really explain why that one's difficult, but it's like not normal. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to challenge runs, what would you say is the most fun you've ever had? Okay, a funny thing that not many people know about, um, <laughs> I don't really actually enjoy playing Castle Crashers. Mm -hmm. I just became one of the best players, yeah. like just in general. And I kind of just stuck with that. I don't actually enjoy playing it, but I will say the most fun I've had was Steve Enemies 4.0 No Potions with Tato was definitely the most fun I've had. Yeah. And that was the first challenge run on my channel. And it was just, I don't know. I just really, I might be being blinded by nostalgia here, but I just really liked that era yeah. of my community and what I was doing at that time. Yeah. You, I know that you're very big in the modding community, um, but I'm not too sure. Do you make your own mods? Um, I do make my own mods, um, but really I haven't made any big ones yet. I'm working on a really big one right now. Uh, I don't know if you want to put this in the video or not, since I know you're more family friendly, but it's called the Big Ass Mod. So that's a, it's a really big mod, but mm. the biggest mod I made prior to that was the Jester Mod, and that's still the most uh, unique, I'd say, character mod to this day, since he has an archetype of being a glass cannon. And yeah. another reason why I'm big in the modding community is because I'm really good at balancing things. Yeah. That is my specialty. I'm good at balancing things and telling people what would make it better to be balanced. And I have some really funny ideas for things too. And people really enjoy that. Uh, but so going back to your, your mod, the, the big ass mod, any sneak peeks or anything that you could tell about that? Or are you keeping it completely secret until, until it comes out? I like being somewhat secretive about it, but I will say 
there's gonna be a lot of funny stuff in the big ass mod. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a lot of unique weapons which will like be absolutely horrifying for players that haven't been like exposed to like the cheat engine mods of the old days. Yeah, there, there's like 32 new characters that's in Ooh. it. So it's like which is, going off the name. It's essentially like a massive, almost like DLC to the game. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really big. And like I redesigned every character other than Pink Knight and I added two new characters. And there's like a whole bunch of new weapons and we're gonna add a system where you can switch the new weapon designs to old ones. So I basically almost doubled the amount of weapons as well. So in Cast Crashes, what is your favorite character? Pink Knight. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> what, is, is, there, is there a story behind Pink Knight? Not really. I just really like cute things mm -hmm. and cute people. And I was, no, that's Pink and I started saying Pink Knight is hot as like a joke, but it, it kind of caught on. And now I'm just like, you're known as the Pink Knight. You know, yeah, maybe Pink Knight is hot, you yeah. know. No, I fully believe <laughs> I have a ton of fan art of people drawing like <laughs> me and Pink Knight, and it's oh, so funny. Oh, it is, it is probably much better than one. I don't know if you've seen it, and I, I know you're my server. I don't know if you've seen me and Evil Wizard. That's, that's. Oh, that's, dude, I thought that was so funny. Mm, oh my God. That's traumatizing <laughs> to see. <laughs> uh i th i think like everyone in your server is like a talented artist is actually insane yeah <laughs> you, yeah they're all amazing but some some of the art is a bit is a bit questionable um, it is I find that so funny <laughs> <laughs> um so going on from that what would be your least favorite character open face gray knight yeah what would be your favorite boss fight of the game barbarian boss actually yeah that's that's a, that's a very good one so what would be your least favorite boss fight ice king yeah so what would be your favorite animal orb um, Hawkster. Hawkster, yeah. And then your least favorite animal orb. That is an interesting one. Like, in terms of how good it is, or in terms of what it looks a like? Anything, it, it, just personal preference. If you have a least favorite for any reason, what would be your least favorite? Bipolar Bear. Would you, is there any and, is there any reason to that one? That one? Yes. Right. And I know this is going to be controversial, but that's the point. The reason Bipolar Bear is my least favorite is because he, uh seems a lot better than he is and that causes people to use him more because they think he's good when in actuality he like is just worse than snoot in every scenario yeah so i always have to correct people using him because they think he's good what would be your favorite level or your favorite area in the game no that's a good one i actually have a couple answers for this yeah. if that's all right yeah fine yeah um i really like the necromancer fight i don't know if you'd consider that a level um, Full Moon is, like, really cool in concept and, like, how badass it is mm. when you get there. But I don't like fighting stove faces. I yeah. find them quite annoying. Like, if it wasn't for how stove faces are in terms of fighting them, then that would by far be my favorite level. Yeah. The one I have the most fun playing is Marsh. I wow. love Marsh. See, I, I get and, a uh, lot of people have said Marsh. I, I'm quite surprised at that because... It's not that Marsh is my least favorite level, but I definitely like wouldn't put it high up. But I guess I'm the I'm the odd one out there because a lot of people are saying Marsh. I like it because there's so much variety of enemies in Marsh, and there's like a lot of stuff happening. It's yeah. very cinematic with the things that happen, and I like the Troll Mother. I like the midweights, the lightweights, the lightweight beefies, and I just like the idea of these farmers just showing up and just beating the snakies just because they want to help you <laughs> just, it's yeah, really cool see, yeah and then what would be your least favorite level well i get ptsd whenever insane Moon industrial castle is mentioned because of everyone asking for my help on that level oh <laughs> i was gonna say yeah because even on insane mode i don't find i find industrial castle probably one of the easier levels on insane mode. like once you know how to juggle i think industrial castle insane is definitely one of the easiest levels it, it, you can fly through it i agree but then, yeah, um, I do understand why some people find it difficult if they like don't know how to deal with the AI roles because yeah. the enemies in that level do have really good AI with like how often they use magic and they also throw quick bombs and stuff and they do a lot of damage. So I can see it, but it does get annoying. Yeah, but that is all of my questions. Anyway, yeah, thank you so much for talking with me, Nasty. It's uh, been a pleasure. All right. Thanks, man. Thank I'll you. see ya. Nasty's basically the walking encyclopedia for Castle Crashers, although Pink Knight should probably get a restraining order. But before we meet our final guest, let's cut to the ads. And welcome back. 
I really hope you've not been using an ad blocker or else this would have been really cringy. Anyway, let's meet our final guest. Yes, hello, I am LFG. I used to upload a lot of Castle Crashers content, but now I only really upload like highlight content. Hello, yes, hi. <laughs> So what did the name LFG come from? Because a bit of a funny story. Um, the very first time I ever in was introduced to your channel was I was doing a Castle Crashers iceberg made by a, a, a Castle Crashers fan. And mm -hmm. LFG was a category in the iceberg. And at the time, I didn't know about your channel. And I thought LFG stands for looking for group because that's what I've always known LFG for. Mm -hmm. um, so is there what does LFG stand for or mean from you? Basically, what LFG actually stands for is pretty like sad. It's basically my first name and my last name and then gaming because oh, I right. made the name when I was 12 years old. <laughs> okay. But uh, what is fun is a lot of people throughout the years have made like 100 million definitions like uh, little fat gorilla all those type of things so i yeah <laughs> i just stick to that uh, yeah. being the name's definition <laughs> yeah. it's interesting though to hear that i was in like a iceberg thing I yeah <laughs> yeah it, it, it was um i think it was made by the shy puppet um mm -hmm. and it was very very early on when i started doing cast crusher stuff it was actually probably one of my at the time it was the video that did the best and most well performing so i thought since it was an iceberg it was talking about the looking for group function in Castle Crashers where you yeah, can just join yeah. a public game. And then I had so many comments correcting me going, LFG's a, an old Castle Crashers YouTuber. And there was on, honestly so many people were, were uh, correcting me. And then that's when I came across really? your channel. Despite obviously not uploading any Castle Crashers content for, for, has it been about a year now? Yeah, something yeah. like a year, I think. Yeah. Y even even today, even when I live stream, I still will get your name uh, mentioned. It is honestly crazy. The impact yeah, that's really you weird. Left. It, honestly, yeah, I, I don't know if you know it, but you definitely were and still are one of the most loved Castle Crusher content creators, and even like today, you're still mentioned a lot. Damn, um, that's yeah. I, I I'm not kidding. I genuinely had no idea. Like yeah. this. I remember a while back you sent me a message for something like a potential collab thing. Yeah. I wanted to respond to that, but I couldn't respond because you yeah, had to be like Discord friends, all that thing. Yeah. But you said it there as well, I think, like uh, people still talk about you. And that was the first time I ever heard about it. And I was like, yeah. wait, people do? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's really weird, actually, to yeah. hear. Yeah, but your profile picture, what I've always found interesting, is the Blue Knight. Because I know from your yeah. videos that Blue Knight is your favorite. Is that changed or? Uh, no, I mean, I don't really play the game anymore, like, uh, ever, because by, like, making videos on it, I've covered, like, uh, it, like, at least in my head, like, I know pretty much everything about the game, and so, yeah. therefore, I'm not really that engaged with it anymore, but, yeah, Blue Knight was and still is my favorite, yeah. Yeah, and is, is it just any reason why it's the back of a barrier icon, do you just prefer it? Um, well, I've always liked how with, uh, this character in terms of, like, the branding so to speak like i, I kind of uh, theme my whole channel around the color blue which yeah. i quite like and uh yeah i mean since blue knight has always been my favorite of uh i like this i even like i'm even though i'm moving away from castle crashers i still still do like to keep him as like my icon yeah so as i was saying earlier you, you're most well known in the community for your character reviews um they were mm -hmm. they're probably your biggest thing when it comes to cast crushes yeah um, definitely you've i know you've pretty much answered this a many times on your channel is there any plan to potentially come back and continue the series um i've thought about that quite a few times actually funnily enough i have um because the next video i was going to make was the seracan review yeah and i have that in premiere like like 60 percent done so I, like because there were a couple of times where i wanted to like come back to it because i didn't really mind it but yeah in terms of whether or not i'm coming back i i at the moment i'd say probably not but yeah i, I just never really know it's uh, there's one thing you like my uh notice from my channel like every time i make a promise i tend to not keep yeah. to it so that's why i've kind of stopped making promises so I don't know, like, on one hand, I wouldn't mind it because I do, uh, I've always loved the engagement it gets and, like, all the kind words, and it's always been really nice uh, to see people, like, enjoying my stuff. Um, but like I said, I'm just not engaged with the game anymore, like, at all. So if yeah. I would make the videos maybe again, it would more so be to... Yeah, just just because I like enjoy the making the video aspect, but not per se for the game. But yeah, then in yeah. that context, I kind of prefer just making highlight stuff. So yeah, that's the problem. But yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe yeah. ish, sort of. That's yeah, it's <laughs> just just it's just up in the air. 
when you said it's 60% done, is that from all the way back like a year ago when you just never touched it again? Or have you just been very, very slowly working on it just whenever? Uh, yeah, more so the latter. Like a couple times throughout this past year, I kind of, because funnily enough, I uploaded a video yesterday for the first time in like a yeah. year. But I mentioned it at the end of that video as well, where just like with that same highlight video I uploaded, where I've been casually working on it because I wanted to come back, but then in the end decided not to. I've been kind of doing the same for that Saracen review. Yeah. So I have indeed been a couple of times where I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe, why maybe. not? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ask you now some generic questions about Cast Crashes. I know, like you said, you're not, you've not played it, but you pretty much, from all the knowledge that you do have, um, I imagine it should be fine. Um, I hope so, yes. <laughs> so uh, you've already answered this one, but w your favorite character is, is the Blue Knight, right? Yes. Yeah. So what would be your least favorite character? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> I don't know if I... I mean, I remember from... Because I would kind of hover towards Green Knight due to his yeah. like heavy attack being very awkward. But I yeah. do remember on one hand... Because I in my video, I gave him like a pretty decent rating because if you're not playing insane mode he's pretty okay ish but if you are then he is definitely more of a hassle just i guess green knight is yeah yeah, yeah. so going up <coughs> what would be your favorite boss fight good one i'd probably say initially i mean a lot of the boss fights are really great mm -hmm. um if we're talking just all around so not like theme or just specific gameplay elements I would probably say like the final one because I just liked how ridiculously many phases it has. Evil like wizard, I remember yeah. the first time I played it, I was just like, when does this ever end? So <laughs> that, that was fun. Yeah. So what would be your least favorite boss fight? Probably. Okay, the fight itself is not really like, I, I love the music and the setting and all that, but the fight against the prince, I think his name was, right? Uh, industrial prince. Oh, the groom is his name. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. When you said prince, I thought you meant industrial prince. Yeah, the groom. So then what would be your favorite animal? I remember always really liking the elephant because he gives you like yeah. attack damage and if Snoot. I'm correct defense. Yeah, yeah, it's snooty uh, plus on the remaster at least it's plus four strength. Uh, what would be your least favorite animal orb? I think I would probably indeed choose for uh, like the bouncing eye thing because yeah, it's a bit like why bother? <laughs> yeah, definitely. So then what would be your favorite level slash area? Um, probably just the final boss thing, like the boss rush at the end. Yeah. I've always really liked that one. Yeah. And then what would be your least favorite level slash area? Uh, probably the, the, <laughs> the full moon level. <laughs> yeah, I've had that quite a lot. Yeah. But that is all of the questions I have for you today. Do you have anything else you'd like to add on or talk about? Um, well, at least, you know, the hearing about how I am like, how people uh, know and talk about me in the Castle Crashers community. I at least want to say that I think that's really, really cool to hear because I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. So I really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'd love to now come back and say, oh, so I'm returning now, I'm making videos again, but like I said, I really don't want to make any promises, guys. I have no idea. But at the very least, I do want to very much express how much I appreciate that people really enjoy like my stuff and talk about me, because that's kind of surreal to me. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is everything that I've got to say, um, or all the questions I've got today. So thank you so much, LFG, mm -hmm. for coming on and talking with me. Yeah, thank you so much for inviting me for this. I was really surprised and happy to read, to read <laughs> it. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. And once again, thank you. And I will catch you in a later one. Yes, exactly. You too. And that's all the interviews. I really hope you enjoyed this video as it was a blast to make. Now I am aware that there are other people who also make content on Castle Crashers, but I just couldn't include everyone. So anyone else out there, I do apologize. But for everyone in this video, all their channels can be found in the description below, so make sure you check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.